Uh, Jillian, would you please use the microphone? What I'd like to do is arrange you in the order of ah, perfection, perfection. Now, 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 this is the moment. <laughs> Observe the energy. Feel the chi. All right. We'll start down here, Jillian, because we don't want to make her wait. Do you have your paper with you? I do. All right. Would you please read for us the motivational environment that you like? By the way, what is your name? My name's Noel. Hi, Noel. Hi. I don't doubt you for a second. <laughs> uh, now, is there any particular like work that you do, or anything you can tell us about yourself? I'm a director of finance and operations. You're the director. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you read the motivational environment? What, what's my motivation? Yeah well, yeah, well, you can read the whole paragraph if you want to. Oh, I'm a high D with a high, uh, very high C. She's making her own rules up. Would you just read the, <laughs> would you just read the sentence right there, the motivational environment? Power and authority, prestige and challenge, immediate accomplishment and results, wide scope of operations, direct answers, opportunity for advancement, freedom from controls, new and varied activities. How do you feel about that? Does that describe pretty much the oh, way yeah. you do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, like you like things to be direct. And mm -hmm. What frustrates you? What, what, what's the kind of things that annoy you? In the, in, um, like? Indecisiveness. Mm. <laughs> Slowness. Slowness. Um, people that can't think quickly on their feet. Oh, gosh, incompetence. Slowness. <laughs> Stupidity, ineptness, laziness. Hugging. What's that? Hugging. <laughs> Hugging? I've had an employee after a, a review ask if they can get a hug for me. And I said no. <laughs> Boy, you... You said that to the wrong crowd here. So, so, so these two are. Can you can you see the high eye juice flowing on the platform? Well, I, I respect that, and of course, you know, I, I think that the important thing is that what I like about you is the direct, decisive, um, um, of controlled energy, but yet you're definitely in charge. And, and we appreciate that aspect of the leadership gift that you carry. And I'm so thankful. Stay right there because your name, sir? Michael. Michael, I like the colors. I love the expression. I, I'm, I'm feel there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling just the connection. All right. Would you read for us the uh, tendencies of the high eye person? <coughs> the tendencies? Well, okay. Sure. Enthusiastic, influential impulsive, emotional, gregarious, trusting, persuasive, self-promoting, pleasant, sociable, and generous. All right, now, it's really not important that you read the list. It's important that you observe it. <laughs> See? Um, and so, do you sense that there's an expressiveness in it? Do you sense that the energy is moving towards you? To engage you. <laughs> Clearly, the fun factor is in the high eye personality. <laughs> now, generally speaking, these people are generally speaking. Which is why they're so sociable and persuasive. <laughs> All right, keep the energy flowing. Love the strength. Love the fun factor. <laughs> We're now going to go to the highest personality. I want you to observe this because it's okay, it's safe. <laughs> it's safe. <laughs> Kathy, would you please share for us a little bit of the tendencies of the highest personality? Okay, tendencies, patient, loyal, deliberate, 
Team oriented. Yes. Serene, undemonstrative, predictable, protective. Don't you say a word, Lael. <laughs> Relaxed, <laughs> passive, possessive. Is that true? Do I have to answer? Yeah. <laughs> this, whatever you say will be uh, kept just between us. <laughs> I mean, are you basically like, are you, are you protective and uh, patient? <laughs> now, who's Leo? Leo. Leo. He's my friend. Adopted son. Adopted son. Right, but in fact, you're the adopted son. Would you say that these are the characteristics that are true for her in terms of her tendencies? Very protective. Uh, very protective. I don't know about predictable, but she's uh, very protective, patient, definitely. Very patient. I, and so, what, what I want you to notice is that there's the, um, the energy. Right? It's the only word I can use, it's the energy, because if you're with people that are, that are high S, they're going to be more. See, there's, there's, I'm not threatened. I mean, it's, there's, I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't sense that if I, you know, she's going to attack. <laughs> I don't, I know, you know what I'm talking about? There's an energy that is, that is kind of like there's a gentle connection, nurture flow. And although I can see that perhaps there's, you know, there's some other, you know, potential, uh, you know, C, you know, maybe, maybe a little suppressed I, I, I get the S. And, and so what, what is important for me is the straight, when you're with that dominant personality, have you ever been with someone who's just got the energy that makes you just want to obey? <laughs> or just want to have fun? Or just feeling as though this is, a, this is, a, you know, this is kind of like a, a safe, non-threatening person? And then the, the C energy, which you can go ahead and read that. Your name, by the way. Marlene. 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 Uh, clearly... Clearly defined performance, expectations, time to think, a reserved environment, um, opportunities to demonstrate expertise. I want you to notice the laborious accuracy <laughs> <laughs> with which every word, which I, I promise you, the moment she knew that she was going to have to read something, she's already read this three or four times to make sure. <laughs> Just in case, to make sure she's ready. But it's the, it's the commitment to perfection. Okay. More? Please. <laughs> Control over factors uh, affecting their performance, precise information and logic, freedom from pressures, recognition to special skills and accomplishments. Mm -hmm. Now, now how, how, do you, how do you feel about your accomplishments? How do I feel about them? Yeah, I mean, I feel wonderful. You do. <laughs> and what are you most proud of in your life? What are you most 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 happy about? Um, that I've come from having no college degree, and I'm the vice president in charge of the accounting department where I work. Oh wow, that's an extraordinary achievement. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> extraordinary. So, your attention to detail, Absolutely. accuracy, and ruthless <laughs> commitment Absolutely. to the facts pays off. Yes. You got the right job. Yes. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. What are you the most proud about in your life, and what, what, have you, what gives you the most fulfillment and satisfaction? What brings me the most satisfaction? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I think um, working with the homeless people. Yeah. Makes sense. That's beautiful. Yeah. And what does that do for you? I just, I don't know, I just love um, being able to give them a hug. <laughs> and make them feel good. <laughs> well, and, and what I'm getting, and, and what I'm getting, what I'm getting is, you see the certainty energy over here, the need for things to be done correctly. You sense the connection. I mean, right down to hugging, uh, the, the the connection. Capacity. What are you most enjoying in your life these days? Uh, right now, as an attorney, I like doing deals and putting people together and connecting people and doing business. <laughs> and, uh, I like being involved in the ministry and having friends and meeting a lot of people. And, and I could just go on and on, but I'll just shut up. <laughs> 
and wearing bright clothes. <laughs> Now, now, have you ever been accused of not getting the, the message in in time on an answering machine? <laughs> I, my record's like 4B. Oh! <laughs> the 4B person! <laughs> you know, you normally don't think of a high eye in the legal profession, though. I mean, this is yeah. like, this No, is I'm like, a very different animal in terms of my partners oh, don't know I'll what bet, to do I'll with me at all. I'll bet you're a, <laughs> Oh, I bet you're just, uh, you broke the mold on that. What, yeah. the, well, you know, it reminds me of like Jim Carrey. And, and, yeah. You know. Well, I have people that work below me that like pay attention to the detail and keep me focused on whatever I'm trying to focus on. And, and <laughs> hopefully, and I got malpractice insurance. Oh, well, that's good point. <laughs> Well, yeah. It's like that, the, the, like Leslie Nielsen, and you know, oh, the missing evidence from the Brooklyn case. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. I just found it in my in my lunchbox. Oh, get out of here! The guy was innocent. Oh. <laughs> now, as you're processing all these things tonight. What, what would you say is, gives you the most fulfillment in your life these days? Accomplishing a goal. Anything that um, I try to set high goals for myself and uh, achieve them or excel them past the goal that I've set. So accomplishing the high achieved goal. Mm -hmm. Can you give us an example of a goal that you set recently that you've achieved? Um, I came on board to, with a startup company and I basically wanted to create an environment where all the policies and procedures and operational functions were set in place and, and we did that in less than a month. All we did it in less than a month. Policies and procedures. I want to suggest to you that if I had a situation that I needed to turn around, mm -hmm. you'd be the person I would look for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I would trust you and your judgment under pressure yeah. more than anyone in the room. <laughs> because I believe that one of the strengths that you carry is a, a commitment to being able to lead organizations and people to their highest and fullest potential. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. If I had a party to throw, I'd put you in charge. <laughs> if I had to have my daughter sitting next to someone in the room, it would be you. If I needed someone to count my offering, it's you. <laughs> so the idea is that every person you see in a certain function is going to be ideal. And for you, you might find one style a little bit less comfortable than another, but you see that tells you the style that you need on your team. Yeah. But can you see that if you met these people now knowing a little bit about the style that you could almost sense, if you did, if you practice this enough, you'd have no problem with rapport because we'd be down to business with you. Mm -hmm. We'd be having a good time with you. We'd be nurturing and kind of connected and playful with you. And we'd be making sure that everything's done correctly. That's good. <laughs> And, uh, and that's all that it would really take to have rapport with those people. And it doesn't, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that if your energy is strong in any one area, you're going to have to be deliberate about having rapport. Because if you're not conscious of what you're doing, you're going you're gonna to telegraph to other people your style so strongly that you're going to make them uncomfortable. So the best thing to do is to start with us, which is, in, which is less extroverted. So then you know how much time you have to make a first impression? You have less than 30 seconds to make a first impression. Most people form a first impression of you within 15 seconds. The problem with that is, and it's always the same, it takes 25 additional impressions to undo the wrong first impression. Wow. Because the brain is like, it just it creates a photograph. And it takes 25 other impressions to correct the wrong first impression. So you want to exercise extraordinary EQ skills. Can we thank God for these people right now? Yeah. Is that me? Hmm? <laughs>